Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Photo 5 Mods video. Today we are back with the Freightliner Ambulance. This thing is amazing and it has a really cool skin on it. It has a Pillbox Hill Medical Center Children Hospital skin on it. So this is for critical care and transport on young ones. Now, I figured it would be cool to use this in the sense that it's just a cool looking truck. I like the colors, I like the logo, but of course I don't want to roleplay like children being sick children being injured and stuff like that so we will not be doing anything like that what we will be doing is picking up uh jimmy which is michael's child but he's technically like over 18 or whatever but we're gonna be picking him up from sandy shores medical center and transporting him to pillbox hill medical center using this awesome ambulance let's take a look at the back here I really like the logo and the colors like this is so nice take a look at that guys so uh, I got my partner with me and uh, yeah let's go ahead and get this episode started we're gonna be heading up to uh, Sandy Shores first for our transport and after that we'll probably just do some regular calls using this ambulance and this area now I actually recorded this before too but um, I messed up my Streamlabs OBS which is what I used to record and it came out so blurry. I was upset because I recorded, I think, about three videos at the time. But it's okay. Sometimes things like that happens. And the main reason why I'm just telling you guys is just because sometimes you may have, like, a bad day. Or you may think, like, you messed up or something's ruined, you know. Sometimes it's part of life. You just got to reset, readjust, make a new goal, and try again. And sometimes, you know... It may end up working out for the better. But anyway, let's head up to uh, Sandy Shores. One thing I do want to do with this truck, though, I want to change it and put, like, a fire truck siren on it. I feel like that would be fun to use since this is such a big, a big ambulance. I feel like it needs a more aggressive siren and air horn, too. Like, this isn't cutting it. It's like right, left, right, right, left. Okay, we are almost at Sandy Shores Medical Center. We'll be picking up our patient and then heading back down to Pillbox. Right, let's head inside and pick up Jimmy. Alright, we got Jimmy loaded up. Let's place him into the ambulance. And let's get him back to Pillbox Medical Center.
a really long run for us today. <laughs> Most of the time, the calls are really close and the drops off, drop offs are pretty close too. So this is pretty cool, running all the way out to the county and then running back to the city. Come to a complete stop in the left lane. I was actually watching a video, I think it was on TikTok, and someone did that too. A cop was pulling him over, and they just stopped in the left lane. The cop was like, What are you doing? Don't just stop on the highway. Back at Pillbox Hill. That was actually kind of fast. It didn't take us too long. Alright, so we are done with that transport and now we are available for regular calls. Alright, we're getting a, a report of someone suffering from a heart attack. Let's see if we can save them. This thing is a challenge. It really feels like I'm driving a fire truck. Which is why I want to put the fire truck sirens on this thing. Oh boy. Hold on guys, I hope y'all have y'all seatbelts on today. Dispatch, you can show us on scene. Oh, shoot, I grabbed the wrong. I mean, I guess I do need this anyway, so let's just set that down right there. What I meant to grab was that. And let's see, we'll sit that down there. Let me talk to the uh, witness here and see what they saw. Here, quick, my friend just collapsed. Please help. All right, we're going to do everything that we can, sir. Alright, so, whoa, oh, shoot, I had that happen to me before, too, and it, it, like, saves them, okay, well, that was a little awkward, but that's okay, that's why you don't take out the stretcher first, I forgot about that, but he's in cardiac arrest, so we do have to do CPR and treat him with epiphrine, so let's go ahead and administer that. I don't think I can give him CPR now, because he's, he's, like, standing up. Um, let's check his vitals though. You know what? Let's put him on the stretcher. Let's check his vitals like this. Hey, what's going on, brother? I'm gonna have some K 
keybinding conflicts possibly. Yep, I figured that was gonna happen. It's okay. All right, so vitals. Airway is good. Breathing is good. His pulse is weak though, so we're gonna start a IV pack. See if we can increase his pulse rate. All right, his pulse should be better now. All right, now he's having breathing issues, so we're going to administer oxygen. All right, he is stable. Let's roll. Let's get him packed up into the ambulance. I'm going to have to grab my medic bag. All right, load and go. All right, partner, we out of here. Sir, do you, do you need a taxi or anything, sir? Or are you just going to stand here in the Holy. middle of the street? Here, I'll, I'll get you a taxi. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna get your your friend out of here, okay? Good luck. Why am I telling him good luck? I don't know. Alright, let's go! <laughs> he got back out. Alright, he doesn't want the taxi. Thank you so much. Sometimes they just sit at the red light and wait for it to turn green. Oh shoot, this side is kind of broken. Alright, don't mind the uh, hospital being destroyed. One alive patient has been dropped off. Perfect. Dispatch, you can show us back in service. Hello. Thank you for your code four. That is awesome. like someone's feeling sick. <laughs> I feel like it takes the whole block for me to turn this truck. I'm just gonna go straight here. To avoid the extra turns. How you doing, sir? Let's see what's up with him. Hey, what's going on? I feel nauseous and sick in general. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, buddy. I'll do a quick assessment on you. All right, 
he is suffering from respiratory distress. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. Let's get some oxygen going. You know what? I should have checked his vitals first, actually. Airway is blocked. Yep, that's why. Okay. All right, let's see if we can open up his airway first. And then we'll get oxygen flowing as well as um, give him that. I'm guessing that's, is that a pill or is that like a shot? Anybody knows? Let me know. All right, he is now stable for transport. Let's get him back to the hospital, let's go partner. I feel like all episode long, I'm just like, let's go partner, we gotta go. Let's take him to the other side since that side is kind of broken. guys so that is gonna do it for today's episode i really do hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you go ahead and smash that like button leave some comments down below subscribe if you are new also hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video don't forget check out my website acepilot2k7.com on my website you guys will find all of the mods that i use as well as tutorials on how to install them i also have merchandise if you like to pick some of that up and if you want to sign up to become an ace grabber that will give you access to some of my exclusive videos that are only uploaded on my website my behind the scenes videos that show you how i set up my video and first access to watch some of my videos that are uploaded um, before they are uploaded onto YouTube. So if you guys would like to check that out, head over to my website, acepilot2k7.com. But again, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.